But what if I told you that once upon a time, there existed a kingdom so powerful, it was considered one of the four greatest civilizations of the ancient world? Yes, today we're diving into the enigma of the kingdom of Aksum. Shrouded in mystery, this ancient kingdom thrived between the 1st and 10th centuries AD. Its influence stretched across the lands we now know as Ethiopia and Eritrea. It was a beacon of culture, commerce and power, its prestige rivaling that of Rome, Persia and China. Yet, despite its grandeur, Aksum remains a puzzle to many. Its story, woven with threads of myth and fact, has faded into the tapestry of time, leaving us with tantalizing fragments of a past that was once vibrant and influential. So join me as we journey back in time to the rise of this enigmatic kingdom. We'll peel back the layers of history and uncover the splendor that was Aksum. The kingdom of Aksum didn't just appear out of nowhere. In fact, it was built on the ruins of an earlier civilization. The Aksumites inherited a rich and vibrant culture from the civilization of Dumumt, which had already been thriving in the region for centuries. This blend of old and new, local and foreign, gave Aksum a unique character that set it apart from other kingdoms of the time. The city of Aksum was strategically located in the Horn of Africa, at the crossroads of major trade routes. This allowed the kingdom to grow and prosper through commerce, establishing connections with cultures as far afield as Rome and India. A pivotal moment in the history of Aksum was its adoption of Christianity in the 4th century AD. This made it one of the earliest Christian nations in the world, and the faith would profoundly shape the kingdom's identity and destiny. And so the kingdom of Aksum began to shine, a beacon in the ancient world. At its zenith, the kingdom of Aksum was a force to reckon with. A beacon of innovation and culture, it was among the few civilizations of that era to develop a written script known as Ge'ez. This script, still used today, is a testament to the intellectual prowess of the Aksumites. Furthermore, the kingdom showcased its economic strength by minting its own currency, an audacious display of autonomy and power. And let's not forget their architectural marvels, the monumental obelisks standing tall, a silent but powerful reminder of their past glory, but alas, nothing lasts forever. The kingdom, once a titan, began to crumble. Overfarming stretched the land beyond its capacity, climate change brought unpredictable and harsh weather, and shifting trade routes left the once bustling kingdom isolated. The vibrant kingdom began to fade, its glory dimming with each passing day. Despite its grandeur, the kingdom of Aksum couldn't withstand the test of time. Yet even after its fall, the kingdom of Aksum left a lasting legacy. Shaping the cultural and religious landscape of Ethiopia, Aksum's indelible imprint is still visible today. Its influence on Ethiopian Christianity is profound, with the kingdom being one of the first major empires in the world to adopt this faith. The Aksumite architectural prowess is still on display, with their towering obelisks and intricate stelae standing as silent witnesses to their past grandeur. The kingdom's contribution to language through the development of the Ge'ez script and coinage with their unique gold, silver and bronze coins further underline its cultural and economic significance. In the modern era, efforts are underway to preserve these historical sites, to keep the memory of the great kingdom of Aksum alive. Conservationists and historians are working hand in hand to ensure that this ancient civilization is not lost to time. Indeed, the kingdom of Aksum, a once forgotten gem of history, continues to echo through the ages, a testament to the resilience and ingenuity of its people.